My work does always come from within. Sometimes it is incredibly exposing. <laughs> like the blood drip earring I did just after my daughter was born. I am a more reserved private person. I want the work to explain itself. You also end up hiding behind your work. In life, there's, there's tension, you know, for everybody. And that's why I never want my work to be too romantic, you know, because it, it isn't a fairy tale. That's not what I'm about. You know, it's about femininity and a practicality and a reality together and what that creates. My first show was um, in Waterloo Station in like on an old platform that was out of use and it was like the start of my journey as a designer. I wanted it to be like really, really pure. So I kind of wanted to show it in this idea of white. And every collection since then, I've slowly introduced more color, more embellishment, more silhouette, more textiles. But it was, it's always been very conscious to start like that and then to build upon it. When it comes to physicality of something in nature inspiring my work, it often would come more from less foliage and more flowers. And it's looking at how they can be very delicate, let's say like a garden rose, but then garden roses have really, really thick thorns. And you know, for me, there's a fragility and there's also almost like a poison. And that can influence my work. Like I want the garments to have a femininity, but then also a strength. Work is so noisy and especially like working in a city but when you step out of it you actually have a little bit of time to think and pause and like think about things in your head and dissect them and agree with them and disagree with them but it's almost like you're allowed to have the time to have a conversation with yourself. If it wasn't found itself that wind is raising the sea and there was a star up against the moon and it rising in the night. If it was a hundred horses or a thousand horses you had itself, what is the price of a thousand horses against a sun where there is one sun only? They're all gone now and there isn't anything more the sea can do to me. In the big world, the old people do be leaving things after them for their sons and children, but in this place, it is the young men do be leaving things behind them, that to be told. Hmm, when did I read it? I can't actually remember where I read it first. It's been with you, with you a long time yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. One you of those. Long time. Yeah, because so, I've always been interested in the Aran Islands and their traditions, etc. So. What about them? Well, like, my, my first collection I did was um, based on their mourning traditions, where the women used to, when they were in mourning, would dye their petticoats red and wear them on their head as veils, mm. uh, as their sign of mourning. They chose red? Why didn't they dye them yeah. black? Well, I think obviously it was done with natural dyes, so it was probably yeah. done with berries and it couldn't, couldn't be black. Probably red was, I assume, as dark as you could go. The last collection was originally inspired by Riders to the Sea and it was all about this family's relationship with the sea. Mm. The actual girls walking in the show had this real feeling like they had just come in from the sea, you know, and they were mm. almost like being washed up to shore. And then on the actual show day, Storm Kira was in London and everyone came in soaking wet. And it was kind of amazing. It was like people had been dragged in from the sea to see it. And I just think, yeah, all of that is really important, bringing all those elements into it. 
it all comes together. I'm not a designer that, you know, sets a big design brief or does loads of mood boards. It's always like a conversation and it's, it's a conversation at the beginning of the season, which is always a reaction to the show that just happened. So after a show, it's like, uh, I go to sleep the next night, I wake up in the middle of the night and I think of everything for the, the next collection. It's like this weird allergic reaction to like what has just happened. And, and then I, that's what I start talking to my team about straight away. Writing is a big part of my process. Even though I don't sketch a lot, I do a lot of writing. And often what I would do is look at an image and then like this is an old encyclopedia of needlework. And then I like to do, I do a lot of contrasting between like like historical processes and like this is a, an old way of learning to crochet for example and then I think how can I manipulate this work in this crochet and then if, if it wasn't on the flat because these bodies are so round how can we do it in the net in the round so that's kind of like very much like how I work usually papers and boxes and loads of stuff lives on the desk but because this comes out sooner than the collection comes out, we don't want to share anything. And naturally, I'm a really private person. So like when it comes down to this, it's like, it all, it all gets tidied away, yeah. which I know is no crack for you guys. I like to put a lot of humor into my work, even to the point that privately, what within the studio, we, we call things, you know, like it's the vocabulary of it being like, you know, the baby egg dress or the cherub is the fat baby. And, you know, we have all these names that we all think is normal because then I'm like, this is the fat baby. And then everyone, you say to the outside world and they're like, what? They're like, no, it's an embroidered cherub. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's an embroidered cherub. The ideas often come to me outside of the building. And then when I come back into the building, it's all about, okay, how can I translate that? And is it, it's through fabrication, it's through textiles, it's through conversation. So it's physical and it's also communicative. In London, everything's so compressed. It's, it's really nice to have some outdoor space. Owen always jokes, but this is my equivalent of headspace, just oh, with yeah. the hose, <laughs> like this, mm, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing morning or evening. <laughs>